So let's start by wiring our power button of our RK1 up machine. I pull up the buttons from my uh, cabinet, you don't have to do that, but I thought it would be simpler if I show it to you the internals and how to wire these things. So uh, the power button is pretty simple. I mean, you just flip it to the right and it will close the circuit. So nothing fancy there. And you already have the connector at the end that we can uh, completely reuse. Let's take a look at the diagram. We're gonna hook it to pins five and six. So you're gonna count from the top row I'm gonna count one, two, three, and those are the two that uh, we're gonna use. Let me show you how that will look like. So here we're gonna count one, two, three, and that's where we're going to connect our power button. It doesn't matter which way you put it, you can flip it over. That won't be the case with the volume button, but in this case you can put it either way. So that's it for the power button wiring. Okay, now let's connect our volume button. This one is a little bit different. We have three wires here. And one thing that you need to make a note of, it's which wire is your low volume setting and your high volume setting. So when you flip it to the left, that will be your left at uh, your low volume setting. So you need to take a note of which one is it. In my case, it's the wire, the black wire. Then I have a ground wire, which is the brown one in the case, and the one in the middle. And to the right, I have the red wire, which will represent my high volume setting. Now let's take a look at our connector. In my case, if you see here, the wires are in a different position. Uh, I have to the left, I have a, the black wire, then the red, and then the brown one, which is my uh, ground wire. Uh, that's fine if they are in, in, in a different order. Uh, just make a note of them. And depending on how you're gonna hook it up, so I'm gonna use the right side pins. So that uh, will leave me with the brown wire at the top and then the red and the black one. So that's fine, just make a note of it because this will be important from the, uh, to find the right position, and the right pin for your wires. In your case, the ground might be in the middle. So you might have a, you might need to find a GPIO pin, a ground, and then another G, generic GPIO, that's fine as well. Just make sure to uh, understand what the right order. So let's take a look at the diagram. So we're already using five and six for the power button. So those are out of scope. But in my case, I need to find a ground, GPIO, and GPIO. So here, 14, 16, and 18, I can use those three to hook my connector there. So I'm just gonna count from the top to seven, to the seventh pin, and from there I'm gonna hook my connector. So let's see how that would look like. I'm gonna take my connector, the ground is at the top, I'm gonna count the pins to seven, and then I'm gonna hook it up there. Double check your connections, just to make sure that you have them in the right pins. So once again, I have a ground at the top, and then I have two generic GPIOs uh, below that. And I know that the red one will be my high volume setting, and the black one will be my low volume setting. You need to keep a note of the number of those pins, so let's go back to the diagram. So my high setting will be 16, the pin number 16, and my low setting will be pin number 18. So keep a note of those because we're, you're going to use those once we get into configuration. And that's it from a wiring perspective. So now let's go and do the actual configuration in the Raspberry Pi. Um, made a few scripts to make it simple. Um, so you're gonna go to my GitHub repo. 
So I'm gonna put the link on the description of the video. Uh, it's here. Uh, so you go there and you're going to connect to your Raspberry Pi uh, through PuTTY if you're on Windows or any terminal if you're on a Mac or on a Linux machine. And you just need to run this script. So you're gonna copy this and run it and it will do everything for you. Uh, one of the things that will do is going to clone, is going to copy all of these files into your Raspberry Pi, which you will have to do manually, but in this case it will do it automatically. Um, the scripts, the Python scripts are in this directory. So you have your power button script, your volume button script, and I also have a power relay script here that I'll create a, an a diff, uh, additional video explaining that. This is to power up everything. Uh, any other thing that you might have plugged, like your LEDs or maybe your amplifier, anything that you can hook into your, you probably have a power strip, so you can control that as well here. So everything will be turned on and off through the switch, uh, the main ar uh, arcade one up. Uh, power button but I'll do that in a different video for now these are the only two that will get configured uh, another thing to notice is this config directory it has a config.ini file Did, this has the default values for my configuration this is for my Raspberry Pi but like I explained on the videos your pins could be different not for the power button those need to be five and six uh, but for your volume this is where you'll configure the pin that you're going to be using for your low volume setting for your high volume setting and also the levels uh, this is your uh, low volume setting medium and high uh, I didn't want to do the low as mute I mean I really want to be uh, just have a low volume setting not a mute so I set it up to 70%, then for medium 85 and 100. You can change this later and play around with it. The ones that you definitely need to change are the pins if you're using different ones than what I'm using that most likely you, you, you will be for your volume settings. Then some for the power relay, there's a, an additional pin that you will use, but we'll get it, uh, to that in, in a different video. Uh, so yeah, so let me copy this line gonna copy and I'm gonna open my uh, I'm on a Mac so I'm gonna use my terminal I'm going to connect to my Pi through SSH this is the user and this is the IP of my Raspberry Pi the default password is Raspberry and now I'm connected to the Raspberry Pi so the only thing I need to do this like I said uh, you need to copy that command just paste it here and click enter this will install all the requisites for the Python scripts like Python like the GPIO libraries um, it will install git if it is not installed there so you so it can copy the files the scripts from my github repo um, this is a fresh RetroPie uh, flash uh, uh, ROM that I, I did on, on one of my Raspberry Pis. So this might take a while because it's downloading a lot of stuff from the web. So depending on your connection, it might take a, a, a little while. So I'm just gonna speed through this. Okay. Installation completed of all the prerequisites. Uh, to in order for those scripts to run and now the script is going to ask you if you want to configure each one of the buttons so the first thing it asks if you want to configure the power switch uh, you can press Y uppercase lowercase doesn't matter any other key will just skip that configuration so in this case I'm gonna configure the power switch then it asks me to configure the volume switch finally uh, well just remember, it, it is saying here, your power button must be connected to pins five and six. So there's no option here. For the volume settings, uh, it's specifying the, the, 
default but uh, if those are not the ones that you're using go ahead and configure that in the config ini file like i showed you before then the third thing is asking if you want to configure the power relay uh, we're going to leave that to a different video so i'm just going to click on n or any other uh, key uh, don't worry if you skip one of the configuration you can just rerun the script and it will it will try to download the requirements it will it will say that it already downloaded them and it will ask you again if if they're not configured uh, at the end again i'm stressing if you need to do any pin configuration do it now and the way that you will do that is you use the nano command that's the easiest way uh, and then there's gonna be now an arcade one up directory then go to config and config any okay you click on enter and here you just change the settings that you need to change once you're done you just click on control x like you specify here it's to exit uh, well if you if you need to save you need to click uh, control o but uh, i don't need to do any changes and like the uh, it's being specified here you just need to reboot your raspberry pi in order for these things to take effect so let's do that as you see uh, i get disconnected because now my raspberry pi is rebooting uh, but that's all you need to do the first time that reboot those scripts will get loaded and if you have all the wiring in the right way uh, you will be able to shut down or turn on your raspberry pi with the power button and change the volume settings with your volume settings now if you're a little more curious of what the script is doing apart from downloading all those script files that i show you on my github repo let me connect again so again raspberry is the default password so one of the things that this thing did is created it copy all those files from my github repo so if i go inside that directory you will see the config directory the scripts directory and everything else inside uh, remember that inside config we have our config file and this is the one that you can change uh, if you change it you need to restart your pi in order to the changes to take effect uh, apart from downloading everything it also does a few modifications to your rc local file this local file this rc.local file gets executed when your pi is good enough so this is the original content of that which doesn't do much it just prints the ip address of your raspberry pi and then it exit with a zero code which means that everything went well so the setup the only thing that it will do is add this two line the power script which requires sudo in this case and then we have the volume script which doesn't require sudo sudo gives more privileges to the script so if it's, if, if you don't need to run it with under sudo it's better it's more secure so these are the two lines that are, are added into your RC local file that will make these scripts to run when you're that's why you need to reboot your Raspberry Pi. If you want to uninstall, unconfigure these things, you just go into this file and remove these two lines. Or if you just want to remove one, uh, unconfigure un, un uh, one of the two, just remove the one that you want. But that's, that's all there is. It's just that the script is doing all that for you instead of you doing it manually. And that's it. Give it a try.